kind of unfathomable to think that we can have pleasure and happiness when we are feeling like our lives are falling apart. But it's true, we can if we understand the reasons why God sends trials and tribulations in our lives. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Dee, Dee a faith-based content creator who creates videos every week to help you and me live the life that God intends for all of us to live, a life of faith in Him. Now, if this is your first time tuning in, you have completely made my day. There are so many times that I don't know how God is going to do this and how He's going to make this message visible to people, but Somehow he keeps crossing my path with new viewers path and I'm just so grateful for his faithfulness. So I want you to keep coming back because I wanna keep walking hand in hand with you so that we grow our faith together. If this is something that you're interested in, please subscribe to my channel. So in this video, I will talk about why God sends trials and tribulations in our lives. Now, if you could check the box in the book of life to be removed from the trials and tribulations list, I bet so many of you would. Y'all wouldn't even think about it, okay? It wouldn't, it wouldn't even be a thought. I probably wouldn't even think about it either. I'll check. <laughs> because it's hard to imagine having joy when you're experiencing some challenges and situations in life. Because they make life hard. And nothing about anything that's hard makes us happy. It doesn't evoke a positive emotion. So it's kind of unfathomable to think that we can have pleasure and happiness when we are feeling like our lives are falling apart. But it's true, we can. If we understand the reasons and the end goal for why God sends trials and tribulations in our lives. So I will quickly share with you five reasons why God sends trials and tribulations based on the book of James who is the brother of Jesus, or how he proudly labels himself the servant of God and of Jesus Christ. And this theme of this book is a great backdrop for the reasons that I will share with you. So let's get into them now. The first reason God sends trials and tribulations in our life is to test us. He tests you. James starts his letter by saying in chapter one, verse two through three, and it reads, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. So here James is encouraging the believers who had fled their homeland and were dispersed among these unbelieving nations because they were persecuted for their faith. Being outnumbered could easily tempt any of us to conform to the majority, but God sets the believers apart. He didn't create you to fit in. So he will test you to see if you will obey when other alternatives exist. Will you be the light that he sent to illuminate the dark places? Or will you dim your light to make others comfortable? I want you to think about that as I share with you the second reason. Number two, God sends trials and tribulations in life to develop your perseverance. So in chapter one, verse three that I previously read tells us that the byproduct of the test is perseverance. And perseverance is the ability to bear the load of opposition without complaint by remaining steadfast in God. I'm not quite there, okay? And don't judge me because I'm not the only one. Friend, you aren't there either. <laughs> but imagine what kind of people we will become when we do get there. James said when our faith is tested, it produces perseverance. That's endurance. So God sends trials and tribulations so that we can develop enduring faith to withstand whatever we face in life because it's imminent to the victory that it will ultimately be ours if we stay focused on God. And guess what? It causes a ripple effect. Perseverance then produces patience and just a persistency of lifetime commitment to God by which you will be rewarded with his blessings now and in eternity. The third reason God sends you trials and tribulations is to humble you. 
James chapter four and six says, but he gives more grace. That is why scripture says God opposes the proud and shows favor to the humble. When all is well, when we shining and thriving, we start feeling ourselves a little bit or for some, maybe a little bit too much. Self will tempt us to making ourselves the center of our affection and not God. And when we take on that type of mindset, it's destructive. The verse says God opposes the proud. So he'll snatch us up, right? He, he will get us together to remind us that our will doesn't belong to us. It belongs to him. And so God sends trials and tribulations where we have no choice but to submit ourselves to him. And when we submit ourselves to him, that means that we are accepting that our trials and tribulations are beyond our control. And when we accept that, we make God the center stage of our life. The fourth reason God sends trials and tribulations in your life is to spiritually mature you. In the fourth verse of chapter one, it says, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything. So James is urging the believers to take responsibility for the progress of their spiritual growth. If you never go through anything, you will never understand what it means to rely on God. So God will send trials and tribulations so that you can mature spiritually and lack nothing. Because when you are lacking, God will say, oh, okay, you're lacking a little faith? Bet. Let me send this test so that you can understand that my son Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And the only way that you can come to me is through him. Oh, you lack humility? Let me take those possessions so that you can understand what it means to be content to have and not have. You need wisdom? No problem. I can give that to you, but let me give you these trials so that you can receive it, believe it, and never doubt it the next time the winds of life come tossing and throwing you around. Spiritual maturity will come when you remain loyal to God and his will, regardless of what you are going through in life. And the final reason God sends trials and tribulations in our life is to accomplish his plan. James chapter 1 and 12 says, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trials, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Nothing we go through is in vain. It all happens for a reason. Even when we don't understand it or it makes no rational sense, God wants to give to those who love him his promises, but we have to be tested and approved to receive the great reward, which is the crown of life. Everyone won't receive it because everyone won't be worthy of it. It's exclusive, it's rare, it is one of a kind. And those who withstand the test of the trials and tribulations will be the ones who will receive eternal life. Now, the question I have for you is, will you pass that test? Now, there you go. Those are the five reasons. Let's do return demonstration. Considering the five reasons that I have just shared with you, I want you to name one thing that you can do to count it out joy on the journey. Will you pray more? Will you worship more? Will you trust God more? Whatever it is, share it with me in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I want you to share this video also with someone else who may need some help counting it out joy when they go through life trials and tribulations. I hope to see you again in the next video because I have a lot of great content to come. But until then, my friend, stay encouraged and be blessed.